I certainly don't really think that I'm worried in some sense that uh, some of the really wrong people are wrong. But you know, if you look at, for example, Curtis Yarvin, there's a tremendous amount of interest. Is Eric going to speak to Curtis Yarvin? Curtis Yarvin says many interesting things, and he says many horrible, stupid things, very provocative. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I haven't, I haven't invited him onto the portal, but I haven't said I will never invite him onto the portal. We we are all in a difficult position. That's what I'm saying. You're you're making a kind of. I think it's a much more difficult task that and burden we carry as people who have conversations because Curtis Aaron is a good example. How much work do I have to put in reading Curtis's work to really understand? Let's talk about the problem of Curtis Yarvin. Yes. Because I think it's probably illustrative. There's this big question is why does somebody who says such stupid ass things listened to by so many people? Very smart people, people who are part of our daily lives discuss Curtis Yarvin in hushed tones. Now, it's a good question. My belief is that Curtis Yarvin has made a number of very interesting provocative points and they associate Curtis Yarvin as the person who has made these points and they treat the completely asinine stuff that he says that's super dangerous as, well, that's Curtis, right? Right, okay. they, they give him the credit for, he, he's, he's a kind of like, sorry to use the term, first principles deep thinker about in like, some the way the world, in some, in some space about yeah. the world. Yeah. But as a result, we don't actually know why Curtis Yarvin is knocking around so many Silicon Valley luminaries' lives. Well, see, see, you said that he said a lot of SNI stupid stuff, and that's the sense I got from a few things I've read, not just about it, this is not just like Wikipedia stuff, is he? he's a little, like I've said before, he seems to be careless. I don't think he's careless, no, 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 it's like Jim Watson. Jim Watson wants to say very provocative things in order to prove that he's free. It's not a question of careless. He enjoys yeah. the freedom to say these things. Yeah. And the key point is, is that there's, I expect something more of Curtis. I expect that if somebody is insightful about all sorts of things up to that point, that they're going to have enough care. Now I, for example, make this point repeatedly that vaccines are not 100% safe. Most people who have an idea that anybody who's an anti-vaxxer should be silenced mm -hmm. are in a position where they, they, they probably don't say vaccines are 100% safe, but you keep finding that statement over and over again. Like right. believe all women, vaccines are 100% safe. Climate science is settled science. Yeah. Whatever this Mont and Bailey is, where you make extraordinarily uh, vapid blanket claims, and then you retreat into something, well, defund the, pol you know, we don't want no more police actually just means we want the police to uh, not take on mental health duties. We've come up with an incredibly disingenuous society. And what I'm claiming is, is that I might talk to Curtis Yarvin, but I have really very little interest to talk to a guy who seems to be kind of giddy about who makes good slaves and who makes bad slaves. It's like, why do I want to do that on the portal? One, uh, first of all, because just as you said, uh, that's not Curtis's main thing. He has a, a lot of ideas and uh, the, the, what I've read of him, which is not a huge amount, uh, is there's, he's very thoughtful about the way this world works. And on top of that, he's an important historical figure in the birth and the development of the alt-right, or what would be called the alt-right. The new reactionary. The, the, yeah, and there's, so he's an, just an important intellectual, and so it, it makes sense to talk to him. The question is, how much work do you put in? Well, this is the issue of fugu. I'm not a chef that necessarily can serve that fugu. So you have a, you have a puffer fish, you can eat the puffer fish, you can, you can get a kind of a tingly sensation on your tongue if you yeah. get a little bit of the poison organ. But my point is, I don't know how to serve Curtis Yarvin yeah. so that in fact, I'm not worried about what happens. And, and but I believe that if somebody else was a student of the new reactionary movement, that person might be in a better position to host Curtis Yarvin. 